What's new? How's ever? Why can't I get this straight? Okay, hi. How's it going? It's Wednesday. Oh, shoot. Okay, sorry. How are you doing? How are you doing? I, um, I don't know if you noticed, um, my wrap. Did you notice it? NBD. It's just a, uh, wrap by Michelle Wong that she designed with her bare hands. Just kidding. She didn't do it with her bare hands. <laughs> You're overselling it, Kate. You're lying. Don't do that. Okay. Sorry. But they are just... <laughs> They are designed by Michelle Wong. This is the MW wrap. Okay. I have it in. There. I have it in the shade Citrine. Um, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to wear it. I was going to, I usually like to zhuzh it and like, I'll show you how to make it zhuzh when, um, <laughs> when the makeup look is done, but I didn't want a chance like getting makeup on it. Um, but I do want to talk a little bit about it. You, it came in this. Like, what? What's even happening? It came in this little bag, which I'm going to frame. And then I don't know if you can see but MW is all over the wrap, but it's very subtle. Um, and I love this shade. I love, love, love this shade. It is 50% cashmere, 50% wool. It is soy soft. And it also has this little Michelle Wong insignia right there. Isn't that cute? So, so impressed with this. I mean, impressed, but not surprised. Um, I, I wish I could wear it as a head wrap, but it, this is too nice for that. <laughs> it's also too, too much fabric. Um, I feel like I should go to the opera in this is what I feel like I should do. Um, anyway, so uh, I put a link to this in the description box. I do know that she's sold out <clears throat> of a lot of the colors, but the colors she does have available are black and blush, which is pink. Um, so if, if you are interested, you can click on the link. She's also going to, um, she is going to restock. It's just going to take a little time. It's not an immediate, re <laughs> immediate restock because these are so well made and they're made in italy um oh michelle wong is here oh my god kate it looks so gorgeous on you thank you for <gasps> thank you michelle thank you <laughs> i'm gonna sleep in this tonight kidding no i'm not that would be a terrible idea don't don't sleep in this when you get when you get it um i'm gonna be really careful with the makeup because I'm actually nervous that I might get something on this. I'm gonna be really, really, really careful. Also, is this a new feature? Michelle Wong, Michelle, your name has a check mark next to it. Oh, cause you're fancy and you're verified. Is that correct? You're a verified person now. You actually exist. It's like getting made in the mafia. That's right. It's like getting made in the mafia. <laughs> Michelle loves the mafia. That sounded bad. We could start rumors right now. We could start, we could start something. Michelle Wong is in the mafia. I don't know if you guys knew that. All right. Um, yes, you're verified. You're a made woman. Mish, Mish mafia. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Well, um, I, I love, I love this. And it's also, also very light because I have to tell you, well, you guys know I run warm and this is perfect because I often find that in New York, I can't ever 
wear my awesome winter wear because everything is ancient and the, the heat's just on full blast. They can't, I, no one can control the heat here. And so literally I just have to wear like a tank top under my puffy coat and call it a day. So this is perfect. It's the perfect weight. Good job, Michelle Wong. Good job. Um, Michelle, remind, so I told them that the two colors that are available, I did triple check, are the blush and the black. And you said, I believe you said that you'll restock sometime in February or something like that. I don't want to misspeak. Um, okay. Well, who's all here? Let's see. Oh, someone became a good, um, a good job gang member. Welcome. She, Shelly Curry. Welcome Shelly Curry. That name is making me hungry. Mmm, some hot curry on a cold night. Um, it's a snowstorm here. I don't know if you guys knew that, but it, it is. And um, I'm just adjusting the angle for the millionth time. And it's really coming down. It's really, really coming down. So we both are so committed to the gym that we braved the snow to go to the gym. I would like a round of applause, please. Thank you. Um, hi, a very happy life. Uh, Ryan K, if Ron and I started a podcast after the holidays, would y'all check it out? Would you? Thoughts? I say do it, you know? Like life is short. What do you have to lose? Really nothing. Um, yes, Bella 2020, this is the MW wrap. This is uh, this color, I don't know if I said the name of the color, but this is called Citrine. Maybe because of my shitty lighting, it looks gold, but it actually is like a, like a goldish lime green situation. Oh, there's a super chat. Hi, Kate. I know this isn't much, but I'm hoping to join your channel in January. Love your channel so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Sorry, there's a bunch of nonsense. But I got distracted. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. I am appreciative of any super chat. Um, just reading the comments here, reading the comments. Dean, okay, I, I didn't read people's names off. I'm sorry, Everyone, everyone's here, <laughs> pretty much. Everyone's here. Kathy Jarvis, Amanda, Anastasia Harrison, Lauren Boylis, Momo Kitty, Cece, Hel Helene H, Ms. Robbie Lou, Micro Mini, Bonnie Nominson, Sandra Lee, Sassy Red, Kim McConnell, Chantal Conard. Why am I doing this dialect? What is that? I can't help it. I feel like I need to be more in frame. There, there. That's better. Okay, so today i thought and if you uh if you guys have any like question any more questions about the wrap or you missed my whole thing about the wrap i made it super simple for you all you have to do is click on the link in my description box it's so easy and then you can find everything out that you ever need to know about the wrap uh okay so if you're here and your eyeballs are upon my visage please if you'd be so kind as to give me a thumbs up. Or if you're a Christmas dick, give me a thumbs down. Either way, it's engagement and it's all the same to the YouTubes. All the same. Also, um, if you're not subscribed, <laughs> I'm not gonna go on a subscription rant, okay? But all I'm gonna say is, I know there are people out there who are watching. I just said I wasn't going to do this and I'm doing it. Oh my God. 
I know there are people out there who aren't subscribed who are watching my content. Subscribe! But only if you're nice. Because if you're not nice, we'll find out. <laughs> Seems to be happening more frequently in these live streams, I noticed. Um, ooh, wow. Triple chins there on that one. So just readjusting. I'm literally wearing this wrap with like a cut t-shirt. <laughs> Michelle, is that, is that the best way to wear this? Just with like a, like a ratty t-shirt? Is that what you suggest? Um, ha. <laughs> Hot fire. Wait, what's that? Hot fire? Says you look like hot fire oh. Your oh, oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Oh, my look, my look. Okay. Got it. Michelle. <laughs> Understood. Understood. Wow. We're really having to spell things out for me tonight. What would you do without me? I don't know. I don't know what I would do without him. Okay, so, um, oh, Beth Cohen just became a Good Jogging member. Welcome, Beth Cohen. Yes, yes, welcome. So, oh, I forgot to, I don't have the right drink in my description box. I'm not having a Riazul Añejo. I'm having, again, I just, I just wanted a, a vodka soda. That's what I wanted. So, and I, it's a lime. See, it's themed. It's it's a vodka, a Tito's vodka with a lime la quap. Okay. So things you can do. Thumbs it up or thumbs it down, I guess. <laughs> Subscribe. You can always send a super chat. You can also become a Good Job Gang member. Those are ways to support my channel. You can also donate through the Venmo PayPal which is in my description box. You can also literally sit on your ass and do none of those things. And I'll never know. Like, I'm not, I have no way of knowing who you are. So I can't come and find you. Look at those options. Look at them. So today we're doing a full face of the, hold on, there's something sticking out in the back and I can't have it. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So we're doing a full face of my best of 2020. So the, this is this is basically everything I named as my best of the best in my video that I just put out a few days ago. Um, so we're gonna, I had to kind of pick and choose because obviously like, I, I guess I could have used all the blushes, but that'd be like a lot. That might be too much blush, even for me. So I had to choose, pick and choose between a few products. But for the most part, this is almost everything I mentioned in that video. Um, the other thing I want to mention... It, <laughs> Hi, Jay Blossom. Hi. The other thing that I want to mention is Lisa Blancet sent me a very sweet gift and it's one of my favorite gifts which is my favorite oh my god did you hear that that's not good <laughs> sorry um it's one of my it's my favorite beer it is uh blood and honey from revolver brewery and so she sent me some so thank you so much to lisa blancet she also sent me this ornament which is hilarious and I'm gonna tell you something, if you don't read the ribbon, you might be confused. Can you see what's happening in here? I don't know if I can, damn it, damn it. Okay, there's a, <laughs> there's a little bit of snow in here and there's a woman pulling her shirt up with her tits out. And the ribbon says, tits out and happy holidays. <laughs> Lisa made this. Thank you so much. Um, this made me laugh. <laughs> it's going on the tree. Ashley A is here. Yes. 
Um, okay, so thank you to Lisa Blancet. She also sent a very, very sweet card. I would have had um, the beer, but I'm just not, feel I'm not feeling in a beer mood and I want to be in the right, I'm not going to waste one of those when I'm not in the mood. So, <sighs> Glamour and Goosebumps. Kelsey Steele Davis is here. That's my favorite beer. So good. But if you drink too much, you'll be drunk. Such high percent of alcohol or I'm a lightweight. Kelsey, I think you're a lightweight. <laughs> no, the, the percentage on it, I believe, is 6 point, I don't know what, 6.7 or something like that. Maybe close to 7 ABV. Maybe it's 7%. That's, that's... 7% <sighs> ain't no slouch. Yeah, I'm not feeling good. It's fine. 7, it's, I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, Shelly Curry. Hi, Kate. I listened to you on the way to work. You start my day off with laughter and joy. Th oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Chris, Kirsten, Kristen, does anyone else remember 3.2 beer? Um, yeah, I do. Let me tell you why, because I worked for, um, for six months, I worked for Utah Shakespeare Festival, which was like one of the best experiences ever. Um, and that's in Cedar City, Utah, um, where they still have three, two beer because, um, the Mormons are running Utah <laughs> and they don't want you to have anything more than 3.2. So there was like one place in town, Cent Centro Pizza, I think it was called. Amazing. You could actually buy beer that wasn't 3.2. Um, and it was just like. A big deal. It was a very big deal. <laughs> um, okay, so I thought, 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 I thought there was something else I was gonna say, but I guess, I guess not. Um, Bella twenty two twenty. I'm actually from New York. I know how bad those snowstorms storms are. Can I talk tonight? What's wrong with me? Please stay safe and get yourself a nice bottle of wine. Thank you. We we have several. We have several. Thank you so much. Um, oh, Denise G just became a Good Job Gang member. And the, I'm obsessed with, De I always remember Denise G because her dog Sid is her thumbnail and he's the cutest. Um, Ryan K, Randy, you need a good gay to dress you in scarves. <laughs> Escape for the day and seek the mows. <laughs> Don't let them see Kate. The gays will run like the munchkins back into the bush. I don't think we should put any s scarves on him. Like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> but also someone is now gonna come for me because we just call called certain scarves gay. And someone's gonna be like, oh. <sighs> I guess she thinks that certain scarves look gay. Well, <laughs> borderline offensive, Ashley A. <laughs> Can't win over here. Can't win. Well, I'm just assuming they're not gonna put me in like all bunion scarves. No, if you. Yes, we can all agree, or we pro probably not all of us. I'm sure there's someone who doesn't agree, but we can all agree that it's best that you don't put scarves on because you will probably look ridiculous. One, not that men who wear scarves. Oh my God! Just back it up, Kate. Just shut up. <laughs> No scarves for you. <laughs> He's also, I feel like if you're going to wear very long flowy scarves, you need to be like a very, you need to be like, like Tommy Toon or something. Again, gay. Or Johnny Depp. Johnny or Johnny Depp. Not gay, but definitely can pull off a, a flowy scarf. There you, and there you go. <clears throat> Ashley A, my dad wanted capri pants back in 2006. I present this information without commentary. <laughs> oh my God. That, oh, Ashley A just, 
She kills me. She kills me. <laughs> I think I I think that could be pulled off. I think that could... I think Ashley A isn't your dad like he's a very <clears throat> he's like a he's like a a farmer type, right? <laughs> Like if we were to paint a picture of your dad, a farmer would would present like a very quick, like on the fly picture of what the vibe is that your dad is giving off. <laughs> He's a farmer, yes, okay, okay. I suddenly became very insecure about the fact that I didn't know exactly what your dad, I, I couldn't recall exactly what your dad did on the spot. <clears throat> um, Dennis G, Denise G, sorry. <laughs> Howard Stern wears scars all the time. Uh, there you go. Exactly. Yeah, but how Howard Stern looks like a corpse that's addicted to heroin. He can get away with He can. There's a very, he's giving you a very, like, rock star situation. That's his look, right? Like, he's Ichabod Crane. He's wasting away. He's going to blow away in the wind. If you look weird and you're tall and skinny and you have that vibe, put a floppy hat on you and all the scarves, and it's going to be like, okay. I mean, I don't, you know... <clears throat> That's not him. <laughs> it's not him. Keith Richards, another great Ichabod Crane. Weird, weird gangle. Okay. I'm loving this conversation about scarves. Lisa, in Italy, dudes wear scarves, but they also wear pastel shoes. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I think it's less about the fact that men can't wear scarves and it's more about the fact that Randy can't. I think that's actually what the point that the point that's being made. I will say this though. Who else loved a loved a nice scarf? Uh Lady Stacy Lee. Yeah. 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 Marlon Brando. There you go. Really? Yeah, I think towards the end he was rocking a scarf on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Understood. <clears throat> a winter scarf is different. We're going to allow him like a winter scarf, but I'm talking about like a wrap. Okay. This is a wrap. He, I'm, he's not going to wear this. Um, okay. All right. Moving on. No, I'm just reading the comments now. What? Bougie 49, yes, but there is a difference between a scarf and a wrap. Yes, yeah, yes, there is. Lauren Boyless, can we move on? No, Lauren, this is it for the night. This is literally going to be the entire evening. Just this. All right, fine. All right, fine. Um, <clears throat> Sorry. There's something in my throat. Do you see this? What should we call her? This is a mask knee situation. This is from going to the gym and sweating heavily in a mask because this was very prominent. Patty. Okay, Patty it is. Guys, Anastasia was on top of it. Did you know, did I share this with you guys? Um, that... Patty Pimple. Yes. Apple tart. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> so many good names. Did I tell you that? I can't remember where I learned this, but basically mask knee can be kept at bay if you use mouthwash. Now you might say, well, who's not using mouthwash? I, I don't use mouthwash and I know that may be disgusting to you, but it hurts. Okay. It's, I, I hate that it like stings and it, it, does anyone experience this? Like I'll use mouthwash and then like, it'll sting for a second, then it'll like stop. And then it'll like come back. There's like three sort of like ebbs and flows of the stinging before you spit it out and I hate it. So I brush my teeth, but I don't use mouthwash. Glamour and Goosebumps just became a good job gang member. Thank you, Kelsey. Okay, the point is that you need to be using mouthwash. And so I'm speaking to myself here. We do have some because your, your mouth is a dirty place. It's a dirty ass place. And then when you're wearing a mask, 
you're breathing onto the mask and whatever you're breathing is coming right back onto your skin and it's being like pressed into your skin. So the bacteria from your mouth and your breath is what's causing the acne. Is that not the most disgusting thing you've ever heard? <sighs> I'm telling you. Amanda, use Lotrimin cream. It's not actual, it's not actual pimples. It's a fungal, oh God. It's a fungal situation from the heat and moisture being trapped against your skin. Ew! Oh no, is Patty a fungus? Patty, no. Patty. I feel differently about Patty now. Okay. Um, Karen K is trying to eat. I'm sorry, Karen. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> wow, that is very disturbing. Bella 2020, just use Kiar Weiss. It will go away overnight. <laughs> What? Okay, so I'm gonna start delving in. I think we've talked about all the really imp important things. Um, <clears throat> let me readjust my wrap. Let me also moisturize my lips. Mm. All right, first we're gonna start off with you guessed it. Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Batter. Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. <clears throat> okay. Someone told me that I, in fact, do need to get the gold version of this, which is very upsetting to hear because it's bougie, but worth it. I don't know though, the golden, I'll have to check with Michelle because I feel like the golden, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty pale. So I don't know if I need a gold luster, you know? Um, okay, now I'm going to use, so the foundation I featured in my best of 2020, which was the Ilia Super Serum, Super Serum Skin Tint. SPF 40 with niacinamide, squalane, and hyaluronic acid. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to take this off because it is, I am, I'm concerned. Like, I'm legitimately concerned that I'm going to get makeup on it. But once the look is finished, I'm going to put it back on. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to actually mix this. This is my favorite thing to do. I'm going to mix this with my Fenty Pro Filter, which is full coverage. I can't remember, shoot, I don't think I linked this, but I'm shade 170 in this. I'm just doing one pump. And then going in with boop, 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 the super serum. Yeah. Carolyn Wilson, I'm worried about the wrap too. Exactly. We had to, we had to put it to the side. If I got foundation on that, I would literally, I'd have to jump out the window is what I'd have to do. <clears throat> Hello, Letty Reyna. Yeah, Ms. Robbie Lou, we would cry for you. Exactly. <laughs> That's this live stream would just be a morning, a morning live stream for the loss of the the wrap. This is going on really well, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Better off red is here. Happy first snow of the season, Viking Queen. <laughs> Thank you, Fran. Thanks, Squirrel Fran. Yes. Yeah, so, Sarah, is it is it snowing there? Because I know uh, Sarah Marco pulled earlier today and said that it had snowed, but that it it didn't stick. So I was hoping that maybe it would come back around. Also, 
congratulations to, hold on, wait, I, I, I want to come back to this. Don't let me forget, Randy, I was going to congratulate. Okay, that's where I was going to go, but I got a notification. Uh, <clears throat> Sherry Ford notification. Sorry, I have something stuck in my throat. Sherry Ford, holy sh night. She said $100. What a gal. What a gal. Um, she said, today's rant brought... <laughs> Today's rant brought to you by Narcissus of America. If you show up to a store or a restaurant as they are locking the door to close, do not start high-fiving the people you're with and shouting, we made it, and then take your damn sweet time. Rant over. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Sherry, can you just always send me, like, I just want to do dramatic readings of what you have to say. Send Tom Cruise to destroy them. <laughs> have you guys, he's referring to the Tom Cruise rant. I think someone brought it up earlier. Um, have you guys heard the, the recording of Tom Cruise ranting about people not wearing masks? If you haven't, you need to run, do not walk and listen to it. It's pretty amazing. And while... Oh, he's not even ranting about not wearing masks? Yeah, apparently, like, two people were standing around the monitor, and they were, like, three feet apart. Oh. Which, still. Okay, no, that's still, yeah, no. I just thought it was, like, his rant is so intense that I just figured it was about, it was masks, but okay. I mean, listen, Tom Cruise is cuckoo banana crackers, okay? But I was here for it. I was like, okay, Tom Cruise. <laughs> okay, you wackadoodle. Oh, okay. I was going to tell you that Better Off Red, congratulations to Better Off Red, because Jamie French shouted uh, Sarah's channel out on her video today. So you should definitely go check that out. I think Sarah hit 13K subs. Okay. Yes, yes, a very happy life. First time Tom Cruise's OCD crazy was useful. <laughs> exactly. We've been waiting for this moment for so, so long. I don't know if Sarah's here anymore, but... Oh, also, I wanted to tell you guys, Randy um, has a really fun holiday playlist that he made. So after the live stream, I'm going to go um, go on my stories and I will post the link to the Spotify playlist if you care. If you don't care, then don't. Okay, so I think that's enough. Yeah. <sighs> that combination of that primer with those two foundations uh, is perfect. There are 17 thumbs downs. Oh my God. Wait, what did I, what do you, geez, geez Louise. Wow, that's a lot for this early on. What do you think it was? What did I say? What was it? What do you think? What, me? Yes. I don't, this has been like one of the least controversial live streams in a while. I know. I feel like this is like the least like juicy live stream I've done in a long time. <laughs> it's early. Randy wearing a scarf. Is that what it was? Okay. We'll put Randy in some flowy wraps. Is everyone, is that better? Gay wraps. <laughs> Um, <laughs> spots and fungus. That could have been it. Oh, the Scientologists. Oh, maybe they're here. Maybe they, they came and went. Maybe David Miscavige stopped by, do you think? Okay. Or maybe the fact that I own like a fabulous rap and people are jealous. Who's to say Paula B44 is sent 
<laughs> a super chat. I'm taking y'all with me to Target and Ulta. Nice to be back at a live. Thank you for the super chat. Wait, why are you taking... Why are you taking us to Target and Ulta? I mean, I'm not against it, but like, why? But also, thank you for the super chat. Scientologist trolls are here. Okay. We're done. We're done with the complexion products. Or, well, no, we're not because we have powder. But, and we have concealer. Not done at all. So this is the... Also, I'd like to point out <laughs> that Ryan, was it Ryan or Ron? I can't tell them apart. Ryan was the one who insinuated that raps were gay. Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong? Ryan, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Pat McGrath the Pat McGrath can see, oh, it's Ryan. Okay, Ryan, got it. And Ryan is gay, so we're gonna take his word for it. Oh, it looks like a thumbs down was redact. Oh no, I don't see any redaction of thumbs downs. <laughs> Still to this day, really question what happens when, when like the thumbs downs go away. <laughs> okay. Guys, everyone can wear wraps, okay? Everyone can wear wraps and scarves and flowy situations. It's all fine. <sighs> That's not actually true. Randy is not allowed to. But if you look like a ghoul who's in a rock band, which he actually used to, you could have worn a flowy wrap in 2005. I, that I will allow. I, I did wear, wear one on stage one time, just exactly one time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and I think somebody gave it to me. It was like a present, like before the show. Well, there you have it. He has worn, he has worn flowy wraps. Amanda, sometimes I listen to YouTube videos with my phone in my back pocket and accidentally thumbs down with my butt. That's a likely story. It's a likely story. Hi, Grace Maltese. Oh, Lisa. Thanks for the podcast recommendation. The Princess Die one is fascinating. She has a sarcastic sense of uh, yeah, so Lisa's talking about you're wrong about, which I can't stop talking about, but it's, it's a male and a female <clears throat> who do it. And Sarah Marshall is hilarious. She's the woman on the show and she's so dry. She's so funny. And if you guys love the Royals, they did a whole like Princess Di series. <clears throat> Sorry. Oi. Ryan K, I fell out of the gay tree, hitting every gay branch on the way down and landed on a gay guy. And <laughs> Ryan, you, you know what? I'm going to stop reading your comments because you're getting me in trouble. <laughs> because I am not a gay man, however you are. And then I'm reading them out loud. L lesson, the lesson here is don't read Ryan's comments. I'm just kidding, kind of. So now we did the concealer. Wait, the concealer, we need to put some on boop, Patty. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get with Patty, okay? Amanda, and that's how Kate gets into scandals. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, now I'm going to move on to blush. 
And this is, sorry guys, I know I'm like using the hell out of this blush, but this is the Shiseido Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush. I'm still using what's on the cap. <laughs> okay, well not anymore. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Guess we won't be using the cap. We're gonna throw that out. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. I do, I have the shade Sonoya. Yes, Jennifer Halley one. I actually used it in my last live stream and I love it. Sorry, there's a lot going on in the comments. So I was just uh, <clears throat> trying to decipher it all. Okay, okay. There's hairs on the cap. Apparently I'm gonna have to sanitize that later. Thank you. Okay. Okay, now, <clears throat> I haven't pulled this out in a hot second. This is the Chantecai Perfect Blur Powder, I I don't know. It keeps on going in and out of stock at Saks Fifth Avenue. And I don't know if it's in stock, but I did link it there, so. What is going on? What is going on? What is Ron saying? What's happening? There's lots of side conversation. I mean, which is fine, but wow, I'm, I'm lost. I'm reading the comments and I'm lost. It's fine. I don't have to know what's going on. I, I don't. Ron wears nighties. Ow. Oh. well, they're very comfortable. Bella 2020, I sent you a message on Twitter. Oh, okay, cool. I'll check afterward. Adelaide's mom, Kate, do you ever go back after the live and read the comments? I don't tend to do that unless there's something I feel compelled to go back and watch again and to look at. I don't tend to do that because my lives are long as hell. <laughs> Um, should I? Did I miss something? What happened? Did someone say something? I'm gonna have to come for someone. Glamour, Glamour and Goosebumps sent me $20 super chat, thank you. Girl, you didn't have to do that. I mean, she sends me Charlotte Tilbs, okay? She sent me some Charlotte Tilbs. As if that wasn't enough. <clears throat> Bye, Sassy Red. Okay. Now, Randy just sent a picture of me, sent me a picture of him wearing a flowy wrap. And I'm going to look at it right now. That's not a flowy wrap. That's a, that's a scarf. That's a scarf. Scarf's a scarf. That's not true. No one, no one specified that it had to be a quote unquote flowy wrap. Okay. It is an odd choice. I mean, yeah. 
No, it didn't get, like I said, that was the one time. Okay. Yeah, you're wearing tight black skinny jeans, a black t-shirt, a black leather jacket, black gloves, and a white, very skinny white scarf. So someone gave this to you? Yeah. Okay. That I, that I can understand. See, he's pull, I mean, he is pulling it off in the picture. He's pulling it off. It's really, a, it's really, life comes down to like, can you make it work for you? You know what I mean? Can you? If you try, I bet you can. Joy, bye Sassy Red, I'm watching you drinking spiked eggnog and watching Sale of the Century from the 80s. Wait, you're watching me and you're watching that? How do you do that? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this wrap on Randy and I'm gonna post it. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, now we're moving on to Joy is watching her laptop and her TV. Joy, your second screening. Your brain's going to explode. Watch out. That's, that's, it's going to happen. Um, yeah, Ron, Randy uh, said, Ron, I was wearing fishnets and dresses on stage at that point in my life. Looking gay was of little concern to me. Yeah, so Randy was in a rock band, like, <laughs> a while back. He looked like a completely different person. He was very ghoulish. So definitely could wear a wrap, a flowy wrap and pull it off. Um, and he was in a band called Razor Bliss. And that's what I'm going to leave you with. <laughs> and he did. He did wear, wear dresses and all kinds of funky things. And listen, I wish I would have been there for it, but I wasn't. Okay, so I am going in with my Charlotte Tilbs. Lenny Kravitz can wear, okay, that's another example. See, Rockstar, he can definitely wear a wrap. Okay, so this is, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer. Jamie K, clothing doesn't make anyone gay. Being gay makes you gay. I never said clothing made you gay. Can we, can we, please? is this how this is gonna go from now? I, I never said that. I never said that. <laughs> For the love of God, I never said that. I can't, no, no. Oh, Jamie K, not, no, not you, Kate, in general. Okay, I just, I'm just clarifying, because God knows, God knows that it's going to come back around. It's like someone's going to take it out of context and have a heart attack, and it's going to be a whole thing. And then I'm going to have a scandal on my hands, <sighs> the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Ron, Ron G, I'm still gay when I'm not wearing clothes. Really? Tell me more. Karen K, but why but would, would but would Randy wear a puffy shirt? <laughs> Seinfeld reference. As a matter of fact, what's what okay, not a pirate puffy shirt, but what's the kind of shirt that was like big in the 50s ed wood wore them in the movie kind of like fuzzy they're fuzzy yeah i don't know there's a specific name for the material and i can't remember what it is anyway i bought one of those at a thrift store one time well i'd have to see what you're talking i don't like can you send me a picture yeah okay Angora sweaters. Oh, Ariane Fowler just said that. Yeah. Oh. Huh. I mean, I, I'm not picturing this. I'm gonna have to see. It was very. It was a very like uh, '70s glam kind of look. Okay. 
I think you need to understand that Randy has gone from looking like ghoulish and being in a rock band to looking like he could maybe be a Trump supporter in Kansas. So like the, the flowy, I'm just trying to provide context here. The flowy rap is not going to translate. It's just going to look ridiculous. <laughs> No, you have, you yourself have said this before. You're very like mer Merc and dude looking now. Yeah, that's fair. I, just saying what he said. <laughs> Linda Nardone, how about strappy sandals? Okay, I think we're getting a little... <laughs> Randy's, all right, I think we're getting a little off, off track. <laughs> boy, boy next door, corn, corn fed, corn fed? Did I make that up? No, that's a word. Corn fed, he looks very substantial. Okay. Okay, so now, what? Well, how many times can I say okay? We're moving on from the bronzer. I'm gonna go in with my powder brush. I just always like to like go over everything to make sure it's blended. Like an LL Bean Patagonia kind of guy. Uh, yeah, no, Patagonia, that's crunchy. He's not crunchy. I mean, I'll put him in a Patagonia, you know, zip up, but it's not by choice. Okay, now <laughs> I'll, put up, I'll put him in. I know, I'm sorry. It sounded like I'm dressing my child. Bougie 49, my brother's name is Randy. Is your name Randall or Randy? We literally had a full conversation about this last night. Um, his name is Randy, just Randy. It's not short for anything. Uh, we were watching, what were we watching last night where someone's name was? Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. But what was the, what was the deal? Oh, Susie. S Susie's like, no, my name's just Susie. And... Anyway, that's, wow, that was, that really fell flat. I have no idea where I was going with that. Anyway, <laughs> it's just Randy. It's just Susie. It's just Randy. So now I'm going to go in with my Anastasia. This wasn't really a part of my favorites or my best of 2020, but it could have been because I use it literally every day. Randy doesn't love his name. <laughs> He's not... Not loving it. Moment of silence for the brow. <laughs> Joy, he's not super bougie and named Randolph like from Trading Places, no, no. Don't, yes, yeah, Amber R is saying you could change it, but also like, let, let me tell you, as a person who's gone by different names before, um, you don't want to, it's, it's a big decision because it's going to turn everyone's lives upside down. They're all going to have a conniption. They're going to have a, a crisis. It's going to be a whole thing. <laughs> Give me a whole thing. Wait, Ryan K, a new sitcom called Just Randy, but instead of Mary Tyler Moore in Minneapolis throwing a hat, he throws up a scarf in Harlem. 
<laughs> That's really funny. Is this my alter ego? Um, so gosh, I feel like I'm, I'm divulging something. I don't, I wasn't, I don't know. It's not really even a secret. Um, but my, my full name is Lindsay. Well, I'm not going to tell you my full name, even though you could literally, it's literally <laughs> so easy to find, but I'm going to pretend that I'm being safe on the internet. Um, but my, my first name is actually Lindsay, Lindsay Kate. Um, and my, my parents, when I was growing up, used to call me Lindsay Kate. And so I decided that I was going to start going by that like years and years ago, like a double name. Well, not like a double name, a double name. And I did. And no one takes to double names, okay? No one. You introduce yourself, you say, hi, I'm Lindsay Kate. They're like, hi, Lindsay. It does not work, okay? It doesn't happen. I was like, well, this is dumb. Like, no one's even paying attention to this. What am I doing? And then my friends, you know, a lot of my friends will call me LK, which I do like. And then a few years, <laughs> you can see, I take it from me. Uh, yeah, changing your name. It's, I didn't really change my name because those are both my names, but, and then I decided I was gonna go by Kate um, because I just feel like it was, it was, you know, I'm an actor. So I felt like my name flowed better with Kate. I feel like I present more as a Kate. <laughs> I sound so douchey right now. Like, wow. But I do, I do feel like I seem more like a Kate. I've had some people tell me that. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna be Kate. <laughs> Not be Kate, I'm gonna go by Kate. You can call yourself Kate, but you'll always be Lizzie to me. I don't know if you heard that, but <laughs> if you didn't, I, I don't want to tell you, but he, um, he still calls me Lindsay because he grew up with me as Lindsay and my parents still call me Lindsay. And anyway, I tell people this and they almost like have a cri like they have a crisis. They're like, what do you mean? I don't know who I am. I don't know who you are. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> Jamie K loved you singing, Randy. <laughs> uh, Eurelicon. Me too. I go by my middle name, Eureli, because my first name is Bertha, second ugliest female name according to the internet. I can't, I can't argue with that. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, that would just be a bull face lie if I, if I said, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I do like Eureli. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, but that's very cool and I don't know anyone named that. Um... Denise G, my parents were Catholic. Denise Marie Veronica Teresa. Whoa. <sighs> That's too many names. That's just too many. I'm sorry. That's too many names. <laughs> Ashley A, throwing around the inside jokes. My real name is Jessica, Ly Jessica Lyons. Are you sure you wrote that right? <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay, um, this is the Glossier Boy Brow. This was, this was a part of my best of 2020. Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer Lyons. So you're, Ashley, was that you last time? I knew it was you. I knew it was you with like a second account. <laughs> Just like, you know. It was, was it, it was Ryan who, oh, Ryan is the person who's um, trolling me about my mascara. He's got like four accounts. <laughs> Ryan, we know it's you, okay? Like, we know it's you. Just like, give it up. <laughs> He's gonna, Ron DM'd me and was like, just so you know, when you like kind of said that you thought it was Ryan 
who was trolling you about your mascara, he had like a mental breakdown after <laughs> afterward or something. <laughs> Better off. <laughs> wow, we are really getting specific here and I'm I'm really into it. But I am also like, should I read this out loud? Oh my god, my feet are sweating. It's really, I'm really enjoying this. Shuri, and Michelle Wong is Sherry Ford. This is a channel full of conspiracy theories. Yeah, let's keep it going. Guys, if you don't know who these people are, it's, I'm not going to explain it. It's going to take, wait, we're not, we can't get in the weeds about it. So I'm just saying, if you know, you know, if you don't. Instead of QAnon, it's GJG Anon. GJG Anon. <laughs> Bougie49, if anyone doesn't like Kate's mascara, go watch Charlotte Holcroft. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I do like Charlotte, but wait. Oh, oh, are you saying because her lashes are, yeah, she's giving you like really intense lashes and I'm into it. So I see what you're saying. I see what you did there. Um. Wow, so many fun comments. Joy. And last but not least, Kate is Charlotte Tilbury. That is actually where I was going to end that entire story, is that my final metamorphosis is into Charlotte Tilbury. And that's what I go by to this very day. It's your final form like a Pokemon. Yes. That's it. That's me. Okay, now we're going to move on to, I don't know, are we even doing makeup at this point? What's even happening? Okay, now we're gonna do eyes. So, this is uh, the, so I, I had three palettes in my best of. I chose this today because I'm doing a bold lip and it was like, I love the Charlotte, the, no, sorry, the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity palette. But I was like, well, let's keep it a little simple. So I'm going to just do these three right here. This is like the day look. This was my pick for a small palette, best of 2020. I love it. I love it. And I also love that Charlotte Tilbury gives you a paint by numbers because I'm just not that, I just want people to tell me what to do. Like tell me what to do and I'll make it, you know, hopefully make it good, but like, don't make me decide on my own. Okay. Or, oh, Momo Kitty is Sherry Ford Charlotte Tilbury. Wow. Wow. That just blew my mind. I don't even know what to say to that. Okay, Bella Beauty is here. Hey, Kelly. So I've gotten a few uh, DMs from subscribers uh, sending me a picture or a screenshot of the prom where James Corden and Meryl Streep are Benjamin Buttoning with the damn robot mask, the Dennis Gross robot mask. Um... Sorry, Bougie49, is anyone in the chat 5'8 or taller looking for at least 33 inseam? Well, I'm 5'10. Are you looking for, what are you looking for? <laughs> How can I be of service? Um, I wear Madewell jeans, actually. Oh, joggers or sweatpants. Ooh, yeah, that's a toughie. I don't think I can answer that. Um, okay, next I'm going in with this shade. Uh, 
What was I saying? The prom robot. Oh, the prom robot mask. So apparently they they're using it. They're there in the movie. We haven't seen the prom, okay? Like, and I people keep bringing it up, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I will watch the prom for Andrew Rannells and Andrew Rannells alone, okay? Andrew Rannells can do nothing wrong. He's fucking funny. He's he can sing his face off. He's he's just a talented dude, and he's like kind of sassy and funny in life. And I love Andrew Rannells. The rest of the cast, I don't know about that. <laughs> and so what I'm trying to tell you is I'm full on, we're, like we're gonna hate watch it, okay? If I, turn, if I end up liking it, I'll let you know. Probably not. I'm just gonna prep you. Ms. Robbie Lou, unpopular opinion, I don't always love musicals. I don't know that that's an unpopular opinion. I mean, I've done, uh, musical theater has literally been my life. And I don't like most musicals. <laughs> Better Off Red is 5'9". Better Off Red, do you uh, know of any joggers or sweatpants that come with a 33-inch inseam? Yeah, the prom is a musical. So, did you? How did you not know that? I didn't know, but like post Mamma Mia, somebody put Meryl Streep in another musical. I just said this. I said the last thing I need to see. I don't want to say that. The last thing I need to see is Meryl Streep and Nicole Kidman in another musical. We had Mamma Mia. We had Moulin Rouge. Wasn't that enough? Do we have to do this again? Nicole Kidman was at the very least forgivable. Possible at most. Meryl Streep was an abomination in Mamma Mia. Okay, Mamma Mia was a, an abomination. Okay, so that just that right there. Okay, but like Nicole Kidman was auto tuned the hell out in Moulin Rouge. Like that's not how she sounds. Also, same for the damn opening theme of The Undoing, which was just painful every single episode. Anyway, that's all to say. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just reading the comments coming in. Courtney Rogers, I used to work at a movie theater and people would come storming out of Les Mis, furious because they didn't know it was a musical. Okay, listen, I know that Les, Les Miserables is a novel, okay? But how do you not know that the movie Les Mis with Russell Crowe and Hugh Jackman was a musical? That, those people, that's unacceptable. I, I want names and I'm gonna come and find them and we're gonna have a serious talk. Jamie K, okay, if you missed the boat on Les Mis being a musical, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> exactly. Um, oh, Better Off Red, Old Navy Activewear is available in tall. Well, there you go. Okay, now I'm going to do the one last shade here. This is the smoke shade for the day look. And I'm just going to use that to... I'm using the same brush for every. That's probably not what you're supposed to do, but I don't care. I literally don't care. So we're watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. We're very, very late to the game. And just like everyone said, we really like it a lot. Although I, we were discussing last night how, what did you refer to her as a Mary Sue? Yeah. What is, what's that a reference from? Basically, it just means that it's a character who... Right, I know what it means, but... Good well, I know, but what's it from? Like, what's, who's Mary Sue? I honestly don't know what the origins of it are. Okay. 
Anyway. People were kind of misusing it in reference to like the Star Wars sequels and Ray and all that, but I don't know. Okay, so a Mary Sue is basically a character that is just automatically good at something with no experience, which is not believable. I mean, let's be honest. Good example, Tom Cruise in Days of Thunder, who doesn't know about cars, but who just is the best race car driver that, that just exists. So Midge Maisel also falls in that category. Like, I still love it, but I'm also like, she's really good at this for never having done it. <laughs> anyway, just, just, just saying, still love, still love the show. Truth of the matter is, the reason I'm late to the game on Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is because I straight up for a while thought it was about musical theater. And I was like, no, because that's it looks I mean, it, it, it looks that way. It looks like 1950s, like golden age musical theater. And I don't you know this about me, but I've I think I'm tapped out <laughs> spending my like, you know, just breathing and eating that. What's the living and breathing and eating it anyway whatever um but it's not and i was wrong and i'm dumb so there you go okay now i'm gonna just take this little brutch and i'm gonna take that matte shade and i'm just gonna do i'm gonna pull up a uh, better off red and i'm gonna i'm gonna do my lower lash line Eat, sleep, and breathe it. Thank you. Wow. Why couldn't I think of that? Do you see how well that goes on? Like the shadow just... I have to be honest with you guys. I know everyone's like dying about Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath and like they make great eyeshadows, but why aren't people dying about Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows? Because this is the most blendable shit I've ever experienced in a palette. Oh, uh, Glamour and Goosebumps, did you mention that that Charlotte Darling is free right now with a $100 purchase? Ooh, uh, on Charlotte Tilbury? I did not know that. But thank you for mentioning that. I'll have to go back and link it um, to the the uh, Charlotte Tilbury website. Oh, Mrs. Maisel, we're on the third episode of the first season. We're like, I think we're on the fourth oh, episode. oh, we're on the fourth episode. We're watching that and the boys right now. Very, very opposite shows and really like both of them a lot. <sighs> Wendy Horvath, my daughter has been in musical theater since second grade. I'm so glad she decided not to try out this year for the show. Why? Why why are you glad? Did I miss did I miss something? Okay, now I'm going to use the Fenty liner. I'm going to use the shade in Big Truffle just to give a little thickness to my lash, my top lash line. Yes, Glamour Goosebumps, the boys is the best. When heroes go bad, exactly which really isn't too hard to believe now, is it? Oh, too much stress, Wendy, oh, for your daughter in the musical. Oh. I mean, yeah, if you, uh, there's always stress involved with like going, going live, doing live theater live anything. So I can understand how as a child it would be stressful. 
Um, I really loved it. So that sort of outweighed the stress for me. It was worth it for me. But if, if you're a kid and you don't love that, then that's no good. <laughs> Bougie 49. I am never so engaged. I think it's the wine. <laughs> Could be. Could be. And then I'm just going to go in really quickly with Puppy Eyes, um, which is a metallic bronze shade. And I'm just going to do my waterline. Now, I am going to do, <laughs> what do you guys think I'm going to do next? What do you think is going to happen? Maybe mascara. I'm pulling out my Charlotte Tilbs. This was my best mascara of 2020, the Pillow Talk push-up lashes. Oh, right, but I have to curl my lashes first. You are correct. You're correct. Joy, the mascarins are coming. Here's hoping, you know, it wouldn't be the same without them. I'm just kidding. I hate them. Sorry, I, I, <laughs> mascara is one thing where I can't really um, multitask very well because I'll probably poke my eyes out, so. Yes, Ms. Robbie Lou, mascara is truly my favorite part of makeup. Same. It makes everything better. Instantly better. Mascara and blush. No, no mascarins have shown up yet, <laughs> but don't, don't get too excited because we've got a whole other eye. Better off red. The mascarins, yes, we have Randy to thank for that term, the mascarins. Kate, I rarely, Nisi PC, I rarely wear a mascara because it's hard to remove. What do you use to remove it? I swear by the Almay, it comes in the purple, the purple and white 
container. The Alme eye makeup remover pads, the oil-free ones. I've used them for years. They're the best. Mascara and merch. Got it. Noted. Great thing about it is it can have dual meanings. Oh, that's true. It can have dual meanings. That's true. I haven't done this with a while, what? I haven't done this in a while with mascara, but I loved this so much that I bought a backup before I was even done with this. Yeah, also if you wear a tubing mascara, that's a good point. I do have the Thrive Cosmetics one, it's really good. That does come off easier. Okay. Done with mascara. Wow. Did we make it? I think we did. <laughs> okay, people are disappointed. People are disappointed. They came to see they came to see a show, okay? Okay, so now I am going to do I'm gonna mm, I'm going to put on a little more blush, just a little bit more of the Shiseido Minimalist powder blush. I feel like I'm kind of pulling this off as a beauty mark, maybe a little bit, a little bit close, close enough. Okay. Now I am going to, I don't know why. I'm, oh yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to be extra. Well, no, I'll do that. I'll do that later. Sorry. Wow. I'm really having a, a moment here. Um, next I'm going to do lips and this is the rare beauty. You guys know I'm like obsessed with this. So I'm not going to go on and on about it, but this, this truly is amazing. This lip souffle, um, this is the rare beauty lip souffle matte cream lipstick in the shade ascend. Oh, I love the shade so much. Like a fuchsia berry situation. That's why I chose it because of the citrine wrap. I thought it would go well. And then I'm going to take the Rare Beauty um, Liquid Luminizer in Enchant and I'm going to be extra. And I'm going to put it boop.
Um, I think I kind of took a little bit of this off with that. There we go. If that is not the most perfect, like, blotted, diffused lip, it just goes on like that, basically from the applicator, I, I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand at all. Um, okay, now, highlighter. So this was like what I, this is what I cheersed in my best of 2020 video. This is the um, Melt Cosmetics Digital Dust in the shade Pink Moon. And I thought I had my, there it is. Let me, let me pull my shirt down. <laughs> I like it better when it's like that. Bougie 49. I hope I didn't offend anyone with my comment about scars versus wraps. I no, I don't even know what you're talking about. You're good. You're all good. We have all the love. Anyone who wants to wear a scarf, anyone who wants to wear a wrap, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh. Well, that wasn't, that wasn't attractive. Uh, disagree. Disagree? I found it to be very attractive. The lipstick on my teeth? Oh, no, I thought you were talking about what you did to get it off. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Boop. Sorry, I forgot. I'll do it in the next cheek. I forgot. Boop. Sorry, I was bad tonight. That is like my, I think it's my favorite high. Oh, wow, that's, that's a very bold statement, but I do think it's one of my favorite highlighters. It's like top, top three highlighters that I own. Okay, and now... I'm going to set it, set it and forget it with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Um, is this highlighter duochrome? I think I see a blue flash. I don't know. I don't know, click on the highlight and see what it says. I don't think there's any blue in it. Um, I could be wrong. Glamour and Goosebumps Pro Tip, spray the inside of your mask with that spray and it helps stop transfer. Oh wow, that is a great tip. All right, I have to put my wrap on. Finish look. Wait, no, I'm gonna do it like this. Gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Yes. Oh, get out of here with this wrap. Michelle, you're a genius. You're an actual genius. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. This was a lot of fun. I really, I really enjoy how this makeup look came out. Um, Ron G, she's got a warm neck, but cold shoulders. That's right. Um, thank you guys for being here. If you uh, enjoyed this, if you enjoy watching people who are watching on the replay, if you could please give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down, <laughs> subscribe. And I do these every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. 
So I shall see you. Oh, and I also have um, an extra video coming out tomorrow on my top five highlighters. Um, that's going to be a collab with Kara C, which I'm very excited about. So um, check that out. And then I will see you guys next Monday. Same place, same time. Cheers. Bye. Boop.